Hello everyone, welcome to my channel. I am Tejashwi and today we are going to discuss about the topic network management and dumbbell architecture and interoperability in this subject. First, let us know what is network management. Network management is an essential part of any modern business and the dumbbell architecture is a common solution for managing and scaling networks. Before going with the architecture and interoperability, the different components of this dumbbell architecture and the challenges of this interoperability in network management will come to see. This dumbbell architecture, it is a very widely adopted network topology known for its robustness and scalability. It derives its name from its resemblance to the shape of a dumbbell, featuring two core switches at its center, each connected to a set of smaller switches or networks. These core switches act as the central points of control, ensuring redundancy and fault tolerance. If core switch fails, the other can seamlessly take over, minimizing network downtime and ensuring reliability. This design is crucial for business and organizations that require uninterrupted network connectivity. The smaller switches also referred to as spokes are connected to the core switches and serves as access points for device such as computers, servers or other networking equipment. This hierarchical structure allows for efficient traffic management and distribution as data can flow between devices through the core switches, optimizing network performance. Moreover, this dumbbell architecture is highly scalable, accommodating increased network traffic and additional devices as a business grows. Its adaptability makes it suitable for modern businesses where network reliability, scalability and fault tolerance are paramount, ensuring that they can maintain uninterrupted operations even in the face of network challenges. So this architecture provides a scalable solution for many large problems and uh, the network traffic in the modern businesses. Let's take a quick picture of the dumbbell architecture. Here in this picture, we can see there are three components known as the application services management protocol and transport protocol which shares the data from vendor A and vendor B through objects. So these are the services and protocols which are given by dumbbell architecture. So the main notes of this dumbbell architecture is messages exchanged from vendor A to vendor B between NMS, which is nothing but network management system, managing in the different domains. So it can handle the network in different domains irrespective of the data. Next, the three main structures in this are the in a dumbbell architecture, there are two core networks as we discussed before. These are typically located at different geographical locations or data centers. So these core networks are the central hubs of the network and our network are responsible for handling the majority of network traffic and services. Next is the neck or bridge which handles the data. This is a thin connection between the two core networks which is known as the neck or bridge. It is a critical component because it is usually designed to be highly reliable and redundant to prevent a single point of failure. This ensures that even if one core network experiences a failure, the other can continue to operate minimizing the downtime. So even if one fails, there is no problem so the other one can function it properly. And the next part is interconnected subnets. On either side of the dumbbell architecture, you have various subnets, devices or networks connected to each core network. So these can represent different parts of an organization's infrastructure or different geographical locations. So some of the components of this dumbbell architecture are cabling, switches, routers and servers. Cabling, this is an integral part of any network architecture and the dumbbell architecture is no exception. And the switches. Switches are essential components that connect different parts of the network which uh, we can use in different parts of the architectures of many network things. Routers. Routers are the main components which we use in our daily lives for the network 
routers direct traffic between different networks ensuring that data is transmitted efficiently servers these store and process data providing services to end users so these are some of the components of this dumbbell architecture and that's about the dumbbell architecture next is about interoperability this generally refers to the ability of different systems devices or softwares to work together seamlessly and effectively within a networked environment in the context of network management interoperability is a crucial because modern it infrastructure relies on a vast array of interconnected devices software and protocols without this interoperability these components would not be able to communicate with each other effectively leading to inefficiencies errors and downtime first these are three parts of this interoperability which is device protocol and management first is device interoperability this is network management tools and devices from various vendors must be able to communicate and exchange information this ensures that administrators can monitor and control the entire network efficiently regardless of the specific hardware and software components in use next is protocol interoperability which in which networks often use various communication protocols for different purposes this interoperability ensures that devices and systems can understand and communicate using these protocols for example like devices should support common network protocols like tcp ip which are like simple network management protocols or http and next is management in this network management systems should be able to integrate seamlessly with other management tools and systems such as security systems monitoring tools and cloud services this integration allows for a holistic view of network health and performance this is a quick diagram for this interoperability where services and protocols or the messages are shared from one network management system to another network management system this is similar to the dumbbell architecture but this divides into different network agents and the network objects which uh, shares the services and protocols between each other and this solutions for achieving this interoperability are like open standards integration platforms and virtualizations like to achieve this particular network or to achieve this particular process so basic solutions are like this where we use the open standards ensures that different technologies can interoperate with each other and the integration as we discussed earlier integration platform provides a standardized way to connect different systems and technologies and virtualization this also can help to overcome compatibility issues by providing a standardized virtualized environment that's all about the dumbbell architecture and interoperability in network management thank you for watching